This is not how to present. Welcome back. Since the short break, a lot has been going on in the footballing world. We can address it. We need a point to survive. I've gone one nil down against villains. No, 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 villain. Thanks to a thunderous drive from Ben Teke. Let's go over now to my man Chris. Oh, it's oh. unbelievable, Jeff. Well, uh, Enzovia broke down the left. Uh, <coughs> Alcaraz missed the slide tackle. And um, then Enzovia went into the box. He squared it to Ben Teke. We just wrapped it into the back of the net. Uh, well, we all know Wigan are probably going to be going down. And um, it's their fault, isn't it? Well, cheers for that. It looks like... Oh, well, Jeff, there's been a goal. And um, out of everyone, uh, I think it was Cornet. No, no, it looks like Figaro. Oh, no, no, Jeff, it was Alianzi. It looks like he's headed the ball in from the... Top right hand corner, it's gone straight in. Keepers missed it, oh, and Jack the Whistle's gone, and uh, we're going to stay it up. Hooray. This is how to present. Welcome back. Since the short break, a lot has been going on in the footballing world. Wigan Athletic, who need a point to survive, have gone 1 0 down against Villa, thanks to a thunderous drive from Ben Tech here. Let's go over now to Chris for more. Well, yes, it's unbelievable. It was Charles Enzogbia who broke down the left hand side. Alcaraz totally missed the slide tackle. Give um, uh, Enzogbia the chance to square the ball to Benteke, who basically just tapped it into the back of the net. And it's 1 0 to Aston Villa, and it looks like Wigan will be going down. Wow, thank you for that. Well, it looks like. Well, Jeff, there's been another goal, and Wigan have done it once again. They've done it, and this time it's come from the likeliest source of Aliadzi. He came up for the final kick of the game, it was a corner, and he headed it into the right hand side of the top corner. Well, Wigan are staying up once again this season. First interview was a bad interview because uh, both interviewers had uh, no eye contact, they weren't looking at the camera, uh, they were more interested in like, the headphones, tennis shoes. They weren't concentrating, you know, they were just didn't look like they really cared, weren't speaking very loud. Uh, there was slang, you couldn't, you couldn't understand them, um, pretty much it. And the second interview was uh, a good interview because they were very formal, they were very clear, the clarity was good, they were no slang, they were speaking proper, good eye contact, it was a good interview.